SAP Companion for Desktop runs constantly on the user's PC. It monitors what application is currently active and then displays any help or training content applicable to that particular application. Let's look at how this works in practice. First of all, the content that's to be made available as in application help for any application is collected together in a special type of group in the SAP Enable Now work area. Technically, this is just a regular group object with a subtype of SAP Companion. This group can include the SAP Companion for Desktop specific content object types of Context Help Project and Guided Tour, but can also include simulations, books and book pages, and even non-SAP Enable Now content such as PDFs or other files. You then need to generate the SAP Companion for Desktop index. This index is effectively a table that lists all the available contexts and the objects that contain them for all of the objects under your SAP Companion for Desktop object. Note that if your selection includes any content objects that don't explicitly contain an application context, these objects simply won't be included in the index. That's the case here where the two book pages under CSR Training do not include context, so are not included in the index but the book containing them does, so users will still have access to these book pages, just only via the book. They won't be listed individually. This index needs to be regenerated each time you add content to the SAP Companion for Desktop object structure, or remove content or change its context. The index table is the key to everything. When SAP Companion for Desktop starts up on a user's PC, this index files downloaded onto the PC. SAP Companion for Desktop then monitors what application the user is currently running and looks for this context in the index file. If SAP Companion finds a match, a request is sent back to SAP Enable Now requesting the content objects matching that context, again based on the index table. These content objects are then listed on the user's screen in the SAP Companion for Desktop panel. It's worth emphasizing a couple of security-related things here. First, information about what the user's running on their PC stays on the PC. It's not passed to SAP Enable now, so there's no logging or surreptitious snooping of any kind. In fact, only the current context is ever stored, and then only in memory. There's no log of previous things the user's done, and nothing's retained once the user closes SAP Companion. The only communication between the user's PC and SAP Enable Now is a request to return certain specific content objects to display these on the user's screen. That's all. 